Welcome everybody to a tier list video. We are going to have three different tiers, a cheap tier, affordable tier, and an expensive tier. Every single tier is going to have a bronze medal, a silver medal, and a gold medal. It is very, very self-explanatory, so sit back and enjoy the video. As well, make sure to check me out on Twitch. We stream five days a week at 11 a.m. UK time. The links will be in the description. What has gone on, boys? Welcome everybody back to another video, another Premier League players tier list. Today, lads we're going to be taking a look at fullbacks we have almost covered all of the positions for Premier League players after today's video we've just got center backs and goalkeepers let me know if you guys want to see a version 2 and version 3 of this later on in the year I'm thinking of doing another one of a Premier League tier list the exact same format all of the different positions once again a second time in like April which would be exactly six months after the game res has released so you know mid game and then I want to do one for the end of the game so you might have three different versions of Premier League tier list this year on the channel but nonetheless boys drop a like subscribe and let's get into it as always starting off at bronze in the cheap tier it is going to be Kevin Mbabu who has made the move from Wolfsburg to Fulham he looks very good a very nice starting card as well currently two 2,000 coins on the market. I think he'll be a little bit annoying to get chemistry. The only best way to get him on full chemistry would be to have a lot of Premier League players. Because let's be real, Fulham and Switzerland are not going to get much links whatsoever. But still, nonetheless, I think he'll be a great right back for maybe week one or week two. I think he'll be the man for the job. He'll get the job done. He'll do what he has to do. Leading on up to Silver, we have gone for Malasia. Or is it Malasia? Malasia? Hopefully it's one of them three. I'm not too sure. Terrible of name pronunciations. If you guys are not new, or you will know that I'm shocking with names. He looks very, very solid this year. 85 pace as well in game. He's got some very nice agility and balance. He is five foot seven tall, so he is going to be someone that will turn nicely on the ball. And I feel like he's going to be more of a progressive left back than a defensive left back, right? He'll feel nice on the ball. Getting forward with his dribbling and pace will be very, very nice. Manchester United, Netherlands, and Premier League, a lot more links as well compared to Mbabu. Now, who takes home gold for the cheap tier? Now, if you guys remember, this man got a silver stars last year, and holy damn, he was good. I was using him in my main team for a period of time. That's how good he is. It is no other than Rico Henry. In fact, last year as well, I actually used his silver card in my starting team. He had a 74 rated silver last year. I had that in my starting team. It was a gold team as well. He was honestly very good. It was like a couple of weeks into the game as well and I was still using him. He definitely did the job for me in division rivals and he definitely did a job for me in foot champions as well. Similar to Malasia, he is also 5 foot 7 but his, I think he's got agility or balance of like 90 something which is ridiculous. So he's going to feel very nice on the ball. I just do think, I mean his defensive physical dribbling stats i mean his dribbling stats his agility balance is insane it's more his in-game dribbling ball control that might let him down defending and physical nothing crazy but it'll get the job done the thing that really stands out with his card is simply his pace and the thing that does stand out in a not so good way is that 59 passing he's going to be very limited when it comes to passing and passing it up for pitch if you're playing you're from your left back to your left cam or left winger that will be the only issue with him. But I think the fact he's 900 coins, this card is an absolute steal. He was last year, and I think he will be as well this year. So with that, let's move on up and up the tier from the cheap to the affordable tier. Players that might be between 3 and 15,000 coins. In third place, lads, we are going to go for Nelson Semedo. Nelson Semedo, especially in FIFA 20, I believe it was, or it was it even 21, when he was an 83 right back when he was still at Barcelona. There was periods of the year when he was 50,000 coins. He made his transfer to Wolves I think for FIFA 21 or 22 I can't really remember when he moved to Wolves but I know for a fact that there were people using this card his Wolves version of his card anyway especially he did have that ones to watch item I think this Nelson Semedo card is going to be very very good to start out and I think he's very well, well rounded and what I did notice with all of these players in the affordable tier they're a lot more well rounded compared to the players in the cheap tier they can defend far fast and I've also got some solid passing and physical which I think would let you down with the cheaper players and as i always say i think this affordable chair is the best bang for your buck 
Getting on up to the silver medal, it is going to be Renan Lodi, who has actually made a move over to the Premier League from Atletico Madrid, making his transfer to Nottingham Forest. He can play left back, or he does have a secondary position of a left mid as well, which is quite cool. But as well, I think this card is very well rounded. I'm looking at his stats down here. He has got almost 70 plus in every single stat, just disregarding his 68 shooting. 76 passing, he's got some solid pace. His in-game agility and balance, I believe, is like 85 and 84 or 84 for an 83 something like that which is more than enough he's 5 foot 10 I'm, I believe as well so you'll feel quite nice responsive on the ball but I think he's a very well-rounded left back he can do it all whether you play him defensively and get an anchor on him maybe you play him a bit more attacking wise and go for a shadow to get that plus 10 pace so he can blitz down the wing I don't know, I think this card is going to be very, very solid for the first few weeks of the game. Now, there is one more man that you guys are probably thinking. I think a few of you would have got it as well. But taking home gold is going to be no other than Kieran Tierney. The only thing with Kieran Tierney, I believe his agility and balance is not as good as Lodi and Semedo's. So I think the only thing that Lodi and Semedo have over Kieran Tierney is they will feel a little bit better. He's got one more pace than both of them. His passing as well is similar to the rest. His physical is a lot better though. Uh, his physical is a lot better, his dribbling is not quite as good as, uh, as Renan Lodi's and Semedo, and his defending as well is a tiny little bit better. I think Tierney and Renan Lodi, I was there for a while trying to decide who I put first out of them, but Kieran Tierney I like quite a bit. I do think this Tierney card though, and I do want to give you a heads up, would be best used as a defensive minded left back instead of a more say get forward type of left back. And there it is, lads. It comes down to the expensive tier. Now, I will tell you, when I was trying to decide between gold and silver, I was there a while, so you'll have to wait and see. But I do think bronze is, is bang on, got bronze. I feel like you can't really, you know, complain with it. It's going to be Andy Robertson, all right? He doesn't look insane. He doesn't look bad. Um, I do think you look at his stats, and then you look at some of the players in the affordable tier, and you just think that the affordable tier looks better off. I think this Robertson card would be maybe between twelve and 20,000 coins. Um, so we are going to put him into the third. I just do think that he, he wouldn't offer too much more than a Renan Lodi, Kieran Tier. Nelson Semedo. So he is 100% going to take the bronze medal, and he's not too much, I have to say, on this card. Other than he'd be okay. He'd be alright in game. I just don't think he'd be worth your money. If you're looking for the player, the item that you get in return for what you spend, I don't think Robertson is is it really. I feel like lots of his value will come for the fact he's 87 rated and people using him for fodder rather than people actually looking to use him in their team. I think you'd just be better off saving 10k and picking up Renan Lodi or something like that. So he's one that I'm a little bit iffy about. We'll still put him in there because he is one of the players and I do still prefer him to the likes of Reese James and Trent Alexander-Arnold who's got like 76 pace. So we will still put him in but I think he's just one of them that I'd probably steer clear of a little bit. But now this is where it gets interesting. There's two players left by the two City fullbacks. We all know Kyle Walker and Xiao Cancelo. Now let me know down below who would you put first out of them two? And I was sat here for a while trying to figure it out. Now, in second, it is going to be, drum roll please, it is going to be Kyle Walker. We have put Kyle Walker in second. Might be controversial. Co controversial? Controversial. Might be a little bit controversial for a few people. Um, he's a lot faster. And looking at the stats, he is faster than Xiao Cancelo. But the thing is, with Cancelo, the reason I put him up there is because he can play left back or he can play right back. He is four star, four star compared to Kyle Walker's three star, two star. But Cancelo's dribbling is also so much better. Kyle Walker has only got 68 agility and 67 balance, whereas Xiao Cancelo has got like the mid 80s for agility and balance. So I think Cancelo makes him a little bit more versatile in the sense that Kyle Walker, he is very fast. He can defend very, very well well and I feel like he is he is you know limited to sprinting and defending whereas uh Cancelo on the other hand I mean 85 pace with a shadow if you, assuming you can get him to full chemistry that still goes to 93 pace anyway but he's still got that dribbling so he can push up a little bit he can push his position up the pitch you can play it more attacking minded I mean he's even got more defending than Walker so to say Cancelo can't defend would be very contradicting um Kyle Walker's physical is a lot better than Cancelo I can give him that but other than pace and physical Cancelo ticks it off and that is why I did just lean for Xiao Cancelo as my number one gold medalist. Um, honestly, it is basically just down and, and I mean to, to even look the passing, plus eight passing for a fullback. I just think the pace, 
physical. Sure, you can give that to Walker, but at the end of the day, Cancelo's got one more star skill move, two more star weak foot. Um, he's got better passing. He's got a tiny bit better defending, basically the same, but he's got a lot better dribbling as well so it is very close but i think both of these cards are going to be very good by the way in fact you could keep them in the same team you could have walker at right back cancelo at left back there we go problem solved and i would not be against that at all but we are going to give that gold to Zhao Cancelo, who is a winner of today's video. That'll be me for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Do want to say as well, a lot of effort do go into these tier list videos. I have to make up the template, I have to download all of the cards, I have to resize them, edit it, you guys get the process. Um, but nonetheless, I love doing this. I'm really enjoying creating content. And if you guys do enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And until next time, boys, I'll see you in the next video where we will be ranking Premier League centre-backs. Till next time, boys, see you later.